smart features. Remember, before we had a blank slate. You'll notice here that you see the Mona Lisa and you see some numbers. Well, that's because a smart system starts with integrated features. It starts with BACnet as the foundation. It starts with a set of rules that everyone understands. It's more of a paint by numbers approach than a blank slate approach. Most of the work has already been done for you. Number one, you're speaking that common language. As I mentioned before, you're seeing more and more often now that you have an option to get controls factory mounted on the equipment. Why spend all the installation labor doing it in the field when it can be done in the factory repetitively? It's going to be more cost effective. The goal here is less field work, right? You want to get in, you want to install the control system, you want it to be powerful because of all the BACnet features of the system and what it enables you to do, but you don't want it to be costly. The smart system is installed by controls knowledgeable technicians, not controls experts or specialists. These are people that just need to know a little bit about it to be able to get systems going. They go in, they enable trends, they enable alarming. They may have graphics that are supplied to them, or it may be, you know, they might start with a library. They may already have that at their disposal, and then they just add a few little features here or there. System interaction features. Again, it may already be designed in the factory for you. It may be part of the factory installed control that came with the equipment in order for it to interact with other uh, systems or components. Or you may be able to pull it from a library. You know, most building automation systems today supply either libraries or the controls are being factory installed.